right so guys now we are back to the program and let's start it so first I need to add my libraries stdio.h and hash include stdlib dot h which is the standard library and this is the standard input output all right so here we have a main function inside the main function I we have the return zero and we we need for Pythagoras theorem we all know that we need the base we know need the perpendicular we need the floating number as well which is for the um, HYP hypotenuse all right so very basic variable for triangle all right now print f as also in the problem you user must know how many triangles enter number of triangles from user all right scan it here's for this scan f is for the number of triangles user enter so here we have the variable name n declare this it can be an integer as well all right now for the next section we need a while loop definitely where i is less than n and inside the we it will also shows how many number of triangles it will basically numbering the number of triangles enter value of triangle right and to more percentage to d if i haven't explained you about the percentage do 2d meaning here percentage to okay i just want to remove this one right now i want to tell you when i will be working on so now it will show you the number of triangle which is the i variable for instance if uh, currently the i is one but the no if user enter three values then it will show this printf will show how many values of triangle like triangle number one triangle number two and triangle number three if if this condition uh, holds up so i also use here equal to sign all right so we are done with that sorry um, my keyboard is very stiff for an f and scan f that's wrong percentage d oh, i don't know what's going on percentage d enter the base um, all right I think so yes I also need to have another printer just right here enter value of base all right move this and that's fine now all right same thing for the perpendicular here i just have br and there we go and now for pythagoras theorem formula All right, so HYP is equal to base into base square 
plus perpendicular square let you know guys that why we have we why we haven't have any hypotenuse square and let you know about it later basic formula is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square now here i have write everything right but here also the square so why i haven't have any why i haven't did that like that way so if i do this now you can see we have the error um like first it shows me an error for undeclared i all right i is starting from one and now you can see it's an error for this statement like l value required as left operand of assignment expected this also okay so it's not the error of so recipe for target main dot o object is failed so l value left value required as left operand of assignment so this is not correct all right so that's why i haven't have any high parking scale another library i want to add up here which is the math library which is the math.h library all right okay and then i also need to have another variable which is square root square root copy this and i need to have it here is equal to Okay, and now here I have hypotenuse, which is basically this answer. Whatever comes from here, like base square plus perpendicular here, the answer, what the outcome of hypotenuse, it will scare root. Normally, what happen is that, for instance, uh, the formula is be like this, as I explained you, hypotenuse scare. Um, I just give you some very basic way of writing like um, normally the way we explain this code like um, base square plus perpendicular square like so that basically assume this that it is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus uh, plus perpendicular square so um, assume this that we have here two square if we have a square of two which is equal to four right two square is equal to four so if i just want to comment over here too so you guys know that what's going um i take square of two so now you can see two square is four plus four like it gives you eight and when this eight when this hypotenuse give me this answer eight uh, then we have to take the square root so that's uh, basically when i take the square root of eight by having this formula um, which is which gives the outcome because normally we have a square here so to remove this square i have to take the square root on both sides like this side also have the square root and this so what happened is this square is basically cancelled by the square root and and we have to take the square root on both sides so the square root of 8 it gives me the answer of 2.82 i reckon so this is the way why i haven't right here hypotenuse hyp cross hyp i shows you that error as well right so th that's why i i need to not i don't need to have in any scare on the hypotenuse right so i hope that you guys understand from this example um it's not a good way to explain you but um i i reckon you might guys some understand something uh, some bit out uh, of about this and how to um i want to just have like that square root answer is 
so I want to comment this whole so you just understand for just understanding um, some basic understanding about this all right so now we're back to the question square root is equal to square root sorry about that guys for the banging in guys um, um, right so square root fyp hyp and then we have simply the printf which is square root of triangle percentage d is percentage f for the floating oh sorry for the double and floating is also the same so backslash n and now i want to show you the i as well and the square root all right so i hope that yes i plus plus also because basically what happens is when our condition is until the condition is true it will continuously loop this whole um it will continue loop this whole conditions right so let's work with it so two and i want the two triangles so first it will ask you here you can see it will enter number of triangles for so here i just have two it's good to define in that way like um you can say we we can have these columns to show you the way in 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 decent way so oh i i think so i haven't i don't need to put this but yes it's fine no issue um also over here okay so i just have two triangles two two it gives me 2.8 to through 3 into 3 so it's giving me 4.24 and the triangle number one has this answer and triangle number two has this answer so i hope that you guys understand some basics about it some math libraries included because of this square root and i gave you this example why i haven't here is here and also shows you the error um we can't put any operands we can't multiply the operands um with uh, having the scare in that way and uh, the user is entering his number of triangles very heavy he wants so so this is a very basic uh very easy and a very simple way i i, I think so guys if you i, I really uh, explain i i write this whole code in a very easier way that's how i can define i just give you some example um of it so i hope that you guys understand and i will see you in the next video